hi all everyone all of you to BSP self running video broadcasting solutions my name is Sumit Goel and uh, today I am going to demonstrate you the basic scripting in ClickView so let's see how to do that so in basically in ClickView basic what I am going to show you is I am going to show you that how to how you can restrict your data so that you will just show the desired data in the front end and the regular use data messaging function so that you have the right data in the dashboard so first of all let's load the QVD file so I'll go to edit a script click on tab add tab and right here main data click on ok and I want to load a QVD file so I click on table files and this is my QVD file dim underscore sales underscore staff dot QVD click on open finish save and reload and close okay now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to create one table box and in that table box I'm going to display all the fields so right click new sheet object table box and add all and I want let's say the data hired email position branch code I want sales branch code at the beginning so I promote it work phone promote it and the first name before work phone and the last name before work phone click on apply and ok and you can see here this is the required data table so let me arrange it first so that we are able to see it properly and so I have now I already loaded this data into ClickView system suppose that we stop hiring the level 3 sales representative so we don't want to show the data into dashboards also now that kind of condition where you just don't want to show data or you want to have a subset of data so that you just don't want to remove from the entire database but just for the dashboard you want to have a subset data so you can do some single settings in the click view scripting and you can have the desired result or desired output so let's see how to do this I click on edit scripting and just after this semicolon or oh sorry below this semicolon I write here where and the field name field name is position position and what I want is I want to eliminate the record so I write here okay just let me load this first and see the output so this is our result you can see here we have level 3 sales representative level 1 level 2 branch manager okay so I write here and write here where field name position we can have we can use greater than equal to so we have all these symbols so I write here not equal to position not equal to single quotes level sales representative and click on save so like this you can do some simple settings in your subs scripting and create a subset of your data set right and reload the data close and you see the data has been eliminated from here from the dashboard right so like this we can eliminate the record and but the data is not is not eliminated from the database it is only 
stop displaying on into our dashboard. So you see how easy it is to set a condition. Okay. Now if you want to set multiple conditions, multiple conditions, let's say after some time or later on the the uh, the company stops hiring the level 2 sales representative also so we can use here and and position not equal to level 2 sales representative click on save and reload the data and close so you see here now we have only records left with branch with position as a branch manager and level one sales representative right like this so so this is now this is how you can set multiple conditions now let's talk about the regular data massaging function or settings we use in clickview now the one of the very first thing came into my mind when I look at this data is the is the first name and the last name now okay so this th we have a separate column for first name and we have a separate column for last name so what I want is I want to have a single field indicating the first name and the last name together so basically I want to concatenate the data into a single column okay so in spite of two columns I want to I want to concatenate the data into a single column. So how to do this? Let's see. So I click on script again and just after the first name and the last name I write here first name ampersand last name ampersand is like a is for concatenation as and we give a name here full name and comma click on save and reload the data and close okay but it's not display over here so we have to do some changes so what we have to do is I uh, right click over here go to this properties and I add this full name and remove this first name and remove this last name and I want full name just after the sales branch code click on ok like this so we have sales branch code full name but if you see there is no space between the first name and the last name right so I want to give a space so I click on edit script and I write here space ampersand simple and save and reload close okay you see there is a space between the first name and the last name so you see how easy you can do all of these data massaging and data restriction activities now here in this edit script which is something we face regularly doing the dashboard these small things really becomes very handy and help us a lot for doing the data massaging right now I will just show you one more quick thing and after that I will end this basic video for example you see we have a fax field over here and this fax field contains in bracket 1 to 1 and almost all the values are same so basically I want to eliminate this it must be a city code or something I'm not sure about this so basically I want to eliminate this and I want to display only uh, the fax number I don't want to show the city code I know the city code let's say right so what you can do is so you can go to a script again I'll go to a script over here and just after the fax we can take the help of a function there is a small function we can write a small function so what will be the function basically I want to display only the numbers I want to eliminate this so I, I use a function here right bracket what will be the text text will be in facts and 
how many digits we have one two three four five six seven eight so i write here eight as fax number as a new column fax number so i write a function over here then i save this and reload this script close okay but still we are not able to see the fax number i want to show the updated result so right click i'll again go to the its properties and i remove here i remove fax from here and i add a new column name as fax number add click on apply and okay now you can see the fax number here with the uh, without the city code so like this we can do some we can play around with the script we can do uh, we can take uh, we can use the where clause over here we can concatenate the fields we can simply display the data from the right side or from the left side means we can use some simple functions so that's all in this my video and uh, i will be come up with another video with some more basic scripting which will help you a lot in your clicky programming if you like my video simply put some comment and uh, i hope you are liking my video have a nice day goodbye